Hello and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Keller Williams Technology Community Weekly Webinar. It's September 9th, 2016, 2 o'clock Austin time. On behalf of the technology training team, we want to welcome you and wish you a happy Friday. Here's what's on our agenda today. We're going to discuss the KW Technology Workshops. I know we've talked about these maybe one at a time, but this is a great time to bring them all together, talk about the value of the KW Technology Workshops, where you can get them, what's involved with them, and then answer any questions you all may have regarding these workshops. We're going to discuss the power of testimonials. Now, when we're talking about the power of testimonials and some of the other items on this agenda, I'm going to be asking those of you that are currently agents about your agent business, those of you that are currently trainers about your training business and how you facilitate training, and those of you that are both, like myself, how you manage both. So power of test testimonials is uh, item number two. Item number three is another one that can be used for both trainers and agents, and that is Facebook Live. Super excited about the opportunities that this has for us as agents and as trainers. And of course, we're going to talk about our upcoming events and anything else that you all have on your agenda or on your mind, please let us know. We are out there ready to answer your questions. If you're ready to, let, to get going, let's go. Let's start, first of all, with the KW Technology Workshops. So if you are a trainer that understands the power of tell, show, do, you're going to love the workshops that are available on KW Connect. And even if you're an agent who is on a self-learning path, these KW Technology Workshops are going to help you to get your business goals accomplished. We're going to show you how you can find out what the course is, is all about, the materials that are available for both students and instructors, and how to access the the workshops and the information that is uh, in the workshops and how you can tell the world about what you learned. So first we did say we're going to talk about how you get to it and we're going to just kind of divert a little bit over here to the world of KW Connect before we get um, any further. On KW Connect, you probably know this, hopefully you know this and you're telling all of your agents, you can locate all of the available KW Technology workshops. You can just simply do a search for the term workshop or even use the entire name uh, on the workshop. Now before we uh, dig into what the workshops look like, I want to know what do you guys think about KW Connect? Have you been using it? This is the brand new KW Connect. It has really evolved into something uh, that is, uh, is very powerful. And so we're going to ask you, number one, how many of you have uh, have logged into Connect, and how many of you have actually created your profile? Now, I'm going to go ahead and shoot off a quick poll, and so I would love for you to answer this poll. And you should see that poll show up any second now. All right, so go ahead and uh, start letting me know what you guys think if you have or have not. And I'm seeing some not sures on there. So those of you that are coming in not sure, I'd love to know what does that mean, not sure. Are you just not familiar with it? Are you not sure if you have created your profile? Uh, what, is, what exactly does not sure mean? And go ahead and type that out in the questions box, and we will look at that and respond accordingly. Maybe you don't know what that means. Well, we can clear that up for you. Okay, so I'm going to give you all just about another moment to... Answer the poll. Looks like you guys are just about done. I've got 71% of you. I'm going to give the additional percent of you that now when I'm at 73. I'm going to give you guys just a few more moments. If you're not answering now, chances are pretty good you're simply not going to answer. So we're at 73% going once. 74%. Oh, look at that. I'm already at 80%. Come on, guys. I know you can do a little bit better than that. Just uh, click and tap. It's a click or a tap. And Oh, you know what? Some of you are probably on an iPad. Um, so you can't click or tap. I'm at 80%. That's a good. That's a good group right there. Let's go ahead and close the poll. All right. Now let's share the results. <clears throat> All right. So here are our results. So as we see, we have 65% have. Congratulations. Thank you all very much. That is awesome. You are true leaders. 19% have not. My question is simply going to be why not? Uh, and then 18% are 
simply not sure. So let's take a look and see if anybody has told us why they're not sure. Okay, so what is a KW Connect profile? Is it different than the white pages? It took a while to get a banner image to upload, but it finally worked. Okay, awesome. So here is, um, you'll see that on the screenshot, let me close the poll. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so the poll should be closed now. Now you'll see on the screen uh, a picture uh, it says upload, and right next to that is a picture of Kevin. That is my profile. I added my profile picture, added a short biography about who I am, what I do. You as trainers, this is a really great opportunity for you all to promote yourself as trainers, and we will actually um, do a, a KW Connect course and help you all understand about setting up your profile but the quickest way of doing that is by logging into uh, my KW clicking on the education link dropping down to KW connect and then hovering over your uh, picture or the icon that's there and then start to update your uh, your information especially your photo it's going to look great every time you log in every time you post any information it shows your picture there all right excellent so uh, those of you that those of you that have uh, created your profile, thank you very much. Now my question is going to be this: What is it that you guys like most about the KW Connect platform? Those of you that have created your profile and are obviously actively using it, what do you think about? Uh, what is your favorite feature uh, of the um, of the KW Connect platform? So Kales um, likes the ability to upload and share best practices, and thank you, uh, Kale. You are always providing a lot of great information. We appreciate it, and that's just it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the that's the key to KW Connect is the um, uploading, the sharing, and then the accessing of the information. We we always say that KW Connect is a living, breathing organism, and just like your your garden, I I live with a landscape designer, so just like your garden, if you're not tending your garden, uh, and if you're not trying to uh, get the um, the nutrients in it, try to give into it so you can get the best produce, the best yield out of that garden. If you don't tend that garden at all, don't work on the yield. What ends up happening? What ends up happening is you end up with nothing but weeds, and nobody likes to walk around or tend a weeded garden, so then it becomes forgotten about. Uh, it becomes overgrown and just uh, an eyesore. That's what we, that's what we want to um, keep from happening with KW Connect by continuing to add content to it, by continuing to uh, uh, foster it and uh, feeding it with information, as well as cultivating because a great garden just can't keep overgrowing it needs to be cultivated so it's important that you all um, take that information out as well I like uh, Robert says being able to quickly find popular materials like ignite um, the search feature isn't that something having a great search feature on there that is the best thing um, Susan's looking forward to more people getting engaged because she's engaged in it and wants to see more people uh, get it done all right, awesome. We thank you all very much for that, and we want you to continue to uh, assist us in the adoption of KW Connect. Right now, I can get 19% of my audience uh, and get them to uh, register at, for KW Connect, not register, but go ahead and set up your profile, start perusing the site, and get comfortable with it. Thank you all very much for doing that. Okay, now, on KW Connect, as we mentioned, you can find the uh, workshops. This is one of the workshops that's available, and, and and as I mentioned, you can always come back to this presentation and find all of the workshop information available in one place. So we're going to start with the eEdge database quick start workshop. The total time of this workshop is three hours. Your audience are agents, and we're going to recommend one to twenty people. Uh, you can do more people if you do more people. Remember, some of these activities uh, do include the instructor being involved. Then you will need some help, 
and so that's just something to think about. The most important thing about this particular uh, class, and you're going to get this question asked by new agents, by uh, by agents that are currently uh, that have been with you for a while, they're going to ask about eEdge and the future CRM. So your answer to them, uh, as always, and we did provide you these scripts in last week or week before last presentation. Uh, the agent CRM is an important part of the KW platform and our strategy. The current CRM partner is Market Leader. KW recommends its agents and its teams remain on the Market Leader CRM until KW formally announces a release of the new KW agent platform and that is targeted for release in 2017. Um, as I mentioned, this is available uh, in script format in last week's presentation, I'm sorry, in a, a presentation from two weeks ago. And what I can do for you guys uh, is we can go ahead and just copy this and I'll send this to you. Just so that you have it handy for right now. Okay, now in this, uh, when a student complete this, um, this workshop, they're going to have configured their eEdge settings so that all of their branding and their contact information is displayed on their eEdge website and their marketing materials. They're going to be able to enable lead alerts on their mobile device so that they can follow up quickly with those new leads. Of course, learn how to import contacts, quantify, uh, qualify them, I should say, and organize them into groups for targeted marketing. They're going to be able to add them to automated touch campaigns and then, of course, uh, throughout doing this, they'll be creating an action plan to form new habits of working their database. They do all of this in just a few short hours doing the eEdge Database Quick Start Workshop. Included in the workshop, the materials are going to be the instructor files. Um, they are going to be the eEdge uh, Database uh, Quick Start Guide. You're also going to see an overview and a purpose of what the what the class is all about. And then we will uh, continue on with um, the uh, quick start message introduction. As you can see in this uh, in this list of, of materials, we are giving you everything you need from the moment that you start the class before the class starts. We introduce ourselves to the class. Then we send up. Uh, information, follow-up emails, making sure that they have everything that they need prior to the class. And you're going to be able to keep up with this because you have a facilitator preparation checklist throughout this as well as the facilitator guide. So the guide is exactly how the class will be run. The quick start workshop uh, checklist, I should say the facilitator preparation checklist is going to help guide you everything you need in each of these workshops. Let us know if you have any questions regarding the workshops. Okay, next is uh, the um, the KW websites getting started workshop. Now, again, what's the what's the one question? Let me ask you guys this. Maybe you'll answer. What's the one question people are going to ask during this workshop? What's one of the most important things that uh, we have to know when we are a part of this workshop? Five, four, three. Uh, Robert says, what is my URL? Why do I have more than one website? Why do I have three websites? Thank you. When is the old one going away? You guys are exactly right. Uh, it's kind of like you all have done this before or something. That is correct. The e-agency websites have been replaced by the new KW websites powered by Playster. And the new e, the, and the e-agency websites will be decommissioned. Details are still being worked out relating this uh, decommissioning. We don't have a date set yet. We're working with Branco and other KW approved vendors on transition options for our agents that have upgraded. Everyone's going to get plenty of notice before anything goes away. I am an agent that has been using the e-agency website. In fact, I did have Branco refresh my website. So it is a situation that I as well am dealing with. My recommendation to you all right now is to go build your KW website, activate it immediately so that you can start taking advantage of all of the SEO uh, capabilities that it has. That's what's going to get the engine started. And then you all can uh, work on it, get it going, and then start transitioning to that, um, to that platform. We actually have some training on what you should be doing 
with your current KW website, your current e-agency website, and your new KW website. So that is also very important. Let me go ahead and, and send this to you all. Here's another one for you. Now, as you know, agents and market centers have mobile responsive search engine optimized websites with full IDX integration and lead capture. Any of these leads will still flow into the eEdge database, okay? The eEdge database, still active. We gotta still keep using it. The US rollout is complete. Everybody should have access to their KW website. Uh, and then, of course, our Canada's early adopter group is scheduled to begin in early quarter four. Now, I want you all to notice I didn't mention underneath each of the workshop titles, you have course information, materials. This is where you're going to find your student and instructor materials. E-learning is going to have any videos that are associated with these workshops. We're going to do a better job of making sure more videos are associated with that. And we're going to talk specifically about reviews. So when they're done with the KW website, what do they get done? Well, they're going to have set up, customized, and launched their KW website with an action plan for continuing enhancing it and boosting their search engine optimization, for example, uh, continuing to add blogs, uh, photos, and, of course, video. Here are the materials that are included. We have a facilitator's guide. Uh, we also have the uh, preparation checklist, is which you're going to check first before you do anything. The introduction message and to send to uh, your uh, students. And not only do you get an introduction message, you also get a follow-up message. Because what good is a training if we're not finding out how well it worked and, of course, how well we perform. Then you'll notice that you have uh, this uh, guide here that is helping you to get ready for the workshop. This is going to save you a lot of time. We've really put a lot of thought into this, and one of the things that we realized is when we're in class and people are looking for their social media URLs, what do they end up doing? If they're, we ask them to start looking for their social media URLs, what's immediately one of the first things that they're going to do? And you're exactly right. Uh, uh, Doug, you are exactly right when you say they are going to start perusing their social media sites. That is not what we want them to do. We want them to focus on the workshop. So we have them do this before on their own time so they come prepared with it. All right, next one, of course, is the mobile app uh, workshop. When students complete this course, they're going to have downloaded and branded their mobile app to their mobile device, or branded their app to their mobile device, I should say. They're going to understand exactly how their app works. They're going to be able to explain the benefits of the app to their buyers and sellers. They're going to be able to share their app with their social networks and their sphere, their mets, even their have-not mets. And then they're going to be able to time block and plan for incorporating their app into their marketing strategy. All right, and here is what you get um, with the um, app workshop. Of course, you get your facilitator's guide, your preparation checklist, and then you also get a list of, of frequently asked questions so that you can get um, through those, those questions quickly without having to search for them. We provide them here for you. And then the master, your mobile, uh, we have maximize your KW agent profile is next. That is one hour. Your audience are going to be agents and recommended number of participants is 1 to 20. When they complete this course, they're going to get their profile as close to 100% as possible. They're going to be able to have other KW associates find them in the referral directory. They're going to understand how to promote their KW profile page and then, of course, the importance of not only the profile page but the KW profile video. And in this uh, lesson, in this workshop, we provide you guys with all kinds of things, including maps um, of the 
uh, profile page so you can see exactly what each item on the profile page uh, means, where it comes from, um, how to add it. So if you're missing some percentages on there, you can quickly find that out by using the, uh, the maps. So we have a profile map, a referral profile, and then the profile completeness key. These are all available for you in the workshop. And then one that you guys found out all about last week, which is KW Video, through KW Video. Um, that's going to be typically an hour class. The audience are agents and recommended number of participants, 1 to 25. This one you can probably handle a few more participants because sign up is so easy. Um, however, uh, they are going to need some room to go start doing their KW videos, maybe some quiet area. So they might do some of that off-site, uh, but if you do have everybody doing it, you may want to limit the size of the room. In this workshop, associates are going to learn about how KW Video can help dominate your market. It's going to walk you through step-by-step -step exactly how the app works. It's going to show you how to make scripted, how to use the scripted templates, um, which are, include listing videos. You have slideshow videos and even a talking head custom video. And a, as always, you'll walk away with free videos um, that you make in class. You can share that with your friends your family, your, uh, and your social media so you hit your Mets and your have not Mets. And in this lesson there are not a whole bunch of, of uh, materials but you'll notice you also get the preparation checklist, the uh, instructor message which of course is going to be a video and then um, additional information including the slideshow that you will be showing. The entire slideshow is done for you. All right, and those are our workshops. Now, these workshops are awesome. I appreciate all of the comments you all have provided uh, to us on them. However, we're not going to know if we're doing it uh, correctly uh, or if it is helping anybody unless you write a review. So now that you reviewed or you've completed the workshops, we need you to write a review. Each of the workshops has a review section. We need all facilitators' input. We want you to provide the details on what you liked, what you'd like to see improved. KWRI is going to be closely monitoring these reviews. We want to ensure that we're providing you with that best information and we know that uh, you, you know, when you need it. So we want to make sure we're providing you the right information at the right time. Or if we're providing you the wrong information, that's also uh, fairly important for us to know. And someone asked, how do I find the workshops? You would just simply um, go to KW connect and type in the term workshop or type in each of the workshop um, each, each of the workshops uh, individually all right let's continue we're going to talk about the power of testimonials on September 19th we are continuing our internet lead generation series with adding testimonials to your KW website hey before the internet it was difficult for your current and past clients to communicate the value of your service to others those were inside and those that were outside your sphere. Testimonials are going to be able to persuade the customer's decision. It's going to strengthen your online presence and it's going to support your inbound marketing strategy that you already have in place. So you've already been working on uh, getting people to buy and sell from you. You've done a great job of converting. Now we have to let them tell the world about it so they can continue to help us with our marketing efforts. Well, how are they going to help us with the marketing efforts? Well, unless you know someone personally, they just don't, they're not going to trust you right off the bat. It's really nothing personal. They just don't trust uh, their peers as a first avenue for buying advice. They trust, you know, they trust people, they trust people like themselves, which means that when others use you, they're going to use you. So in today's digital ecosphere, 70% 70% of consumers look at online reviews before they buy products or they use services. This puts a lot of emphasis on the importance of testimonials. Um, it is really important for your uh, customers to, um, to tell everybody about how they serviced you or how you serviced them, I should say. So things like uh, how, well, I guess the question is how do we get testimonials? 
we can get testimonials uh, a lot of ways. One, we can um, ask, we could simply ask, that's probably number one uh, thing that we can do is we can ask our uh, clients. But let's look at some of the things that we can ask them. Um, well, all right, so first is, uh, why did you hire me to represent your home sale or your purchase? Right? Why did you hire me? That's kind of a simple question to to ask, but it really is a great it really is a great question. So um, the we want to hear about we want to know about what they found. Maybe it was because you had a great web presence. Maybe it's because somebody told you about them, uh, or maybe because they saw another testimonial uh, online. All right. Next one is what did I do best to help your home sale or your search? So. Basically, what did the client enjoy most or appreciate most about working with you directly? There could be something big. It could even be something small, but what's big to them? These are the kinds of things that help people make decisions about who to do business with. What could I have done better to help you buy or sell? Useful information from past clients. It's not always positive, but it's the best way to improve yourself. I mean, we're always asking you, how can we improve our trainings? How can we improve the information? How can we improve our ambassador calls? Uh, how can we improve the ambassador uh, program? We just asked some of you all for that. So the question is, what can we do better? And then what would ultimately get you to recommend my business to others? Now, you know, having a good testimonials makes you feel good, but uh, having um, being being able to um, being able to uh, get them to tell people about it is even better so we definitely want to get them to tell you why they would recommend you to other people and of course a great way of promoting yourself is adding multimedia to your uh, to your testimonials. A testimonial is great, but we want to maybe add some images, videos, anything that can help put uh, the faces to the vo and voices to the names and the information that they're putting on there. Uh, not every client's going to be okay with having their photos on your website, but some of them actually really love it. So talk to them. Uh, make sure you do it as soon as they are done with the transaction and everything is good. They have the keys in their hand. All of those problems are behind them. They're super excited. That's really the best time. You'll be, able, you'll be really surprised about what can happen if you just simply ask. So our question to you is how are you and your agents using testimonials? Are you, uh, do you know any agents that have done a really great job of collecting testimonials? If you do, please let me know. Put in their testimonials and put in their name. What about you as trainers? Are you using testimonials? That's really the question. So are you having trouble getting your classrooms filled? What better way to fill your classrooms and have some associates who you have helped to succeed um, to, um, to, to, handle, um, to handle that for you? Because then they are telling the class about why your class is so valuable, and then they, instead of you having to continue uh, to toot your own horn, if you will. And a question came in regarding the workshops, and, and thank you, Brenda, for answering that. Um, someone did a search for workshops. None of the ones that we uh, talked about came up. And um, Brenda did mention that you can find any of the workshops by clicking on KWU Courses link at the top. And workshops are considered courses in KWU Connect. Thank you very much for that, Brenda. All right, we have just about two minutes to talk about Facebook Live and I can probably do that. Facebook Live, what is it? Hey, it's basically live, uh, Facebook Live or videos that are live on Facebook. Yes, it's really that simple. It's just videos that are in real time. So uh, basically, uh, Facebook Live, it's, it's really a basic feature, but it's really got an amazing amount of potential amount of potential. Very simple to do. Basically you tap on the icon for Facebook Live, you write a description of what it's going to be, your followers can immediately um, tune in, but 
thing to remember is once you tap finish, the video is live. So you're going to first record the video, then tap finish, and then it's live. You have to be aware of that. And the thing about being live is it's live. There's no uh, uh, two takes or anything like that. It really brings the genuine, uh, the genuine uh, person in you. It really does help. Um, it really does help you to display your true self. Just think about the Chewbacca mask lady uh, when we talk about being genuine uh, online. That was done through Facebook Live. Maximum time is about 30 minutes. Now, what ways can we use Facebook Live? Hey, there's some great ways. We could do a live Q&A with home shoppers. You don't even have to have the home shoppers on the camera. Maybe show the backs of their heads when you ask them questions. They're just off camera answering the questions. Q&A with home shoppers is a great way of promoting your uh, your your um, selling skills, the way that you are helping buyers to purchase a home. All of the advice, all of the information that you will be giving them will be captured on the Facebook Live um, stream. You could even do little snippets at a time. What about exclusive home tours? If you um, aren't able to, uh, or what about your virtual tours? Your virtual tour could actually be uh, directly from Facebook Live. So this is a great way of creating an exclusive home tour, walking people through, um, being able to get uh, your sphere to uh, see some of the houses that you have that you currently have listed on your own. And what a great way to provide information um, directly to your seller because in Facebook Live, people may be commenting on the home. What if they said, uh, oh, I really love the uh, those cabinets. I really like the yard or I would like it if uh, this was taken out. That might be a consideration that the seller might have. You could share that information directly uh, with the seller. What we call social check-ins, just let your sphere know what's happening in your community. Just provide some great updates, share your expertise. You can make it fun, you can make it informative, you can make it both. Uh, social check-ins, what a great way to remind people that you're in real estate. And then of course, what about first time home buyer tutorials? What if uh, somebody's asking, hey, uh, how, do I need an inspection? Do I absolutely have to get an inspection? What's the cost of going under contract, right? I mean, what does it mean to go pending? What if I change my mind? Uh, all of these are opportunities for, uh, for you to share your expertise with uh, first time home buyers. So my question then is, how are you all using Facebook Live? Uh, I would like to know, are you using it in your training? Are you using it in your business? Who do you know that is using it in their real estate business? I did a presentation on, I believe, the 25th with uh, Jesse Davies and Brad Stevens of the Portsmouth office. They started a real fun uh, Facebook Live event where they were trying to get a thousand people contacted and naturally it wasn't, it was a huge lead generating effort but really it was more of a promotional effort if you think about it. Um, they were dressed in Uncle Sam gear and so forth so they really created a buzz. All right. Okay, Susan says they're going to be using Facebook Live to include agents and team meetings who live an hour or more away. Good job. That's awesome. Or who don't want to get out of bed that day. That's funny. I like that. Thank you, Susan. Okay, let's take a quick look at our upcoming events. We're just a little bit over time, but uh, we'll make it fast. Uh, you'll notice that we have the 12th, 19th, and 26th already scheduled. We have the Systems for Success series, which I believe we have on here. Yep, the 12th is going to be um, talking about uh, getting eEdge to help you get through the shift and some of the things that uh, eEdge has available to you. We're going to talk about the Internet. Um, the 19th is the Internet Lead Generation series. And that is going to help you uh, with uh, adding testimonials to your KW website. That's something we just spoke about. And then the spotlight on KW Technology Series. Once again, we are going to bring uh, Raj in from Playster. I'm sorry, from uh, Profit Dash uh, to talk about the Profit Dash app and some success stories of agents who are currently using Profit Dash. All right, that's you know where you can find that. Find that on the KW Connect. Um, find that on the KW Connect page under events, uh, under KW Connect uh, events calendar. Calendar, I should say. All right. 
All right, who knows what this logo is? Tell me what this logo is. Uh, this logo is a Firefox logo. What, let me back that up, thank you. What is the animal on the, fire, on the Firefox logo? What is the animal on the Firefox logo? Uh, fox, fox, red fox, fox. Some of you are right and some of you are not right. So the, the red fox is uh, not correct. It is not a fox, anybody else, before Googling it. It is not a Mozilla. Thank you, Chris. I don't know what a Mozilla is. Um, it is a red panda. Thank you, uh, Darby. It is a red panda because we've never seen them turn around. See, it's a red panda. The red panda is an animal native to the Himalayans in southwestern China. The English word for red panda is Firefox, which is where the browser gets its name from. So the Firefox logo is actually a red panda, not a fox. Thank you all very much. I have hopefully taught you something today. Look at that. Boy, all the stuff that we talked about today and you guys are so excited about my little uh, tidbit on the Firefox. That's awesome. Hey, I want to thank you all very much for being a part of today's presentation. We are going to go through the questions and answer any that we were unable to answer throughout the call. I do see Brenda did an amazing job of uh, hammering some of those out. In fact, somebody thought that I was so good that I was double tasking, running the webinar, and answering the questions. So thank you all very much for being a part of today's presentation. As always, we want you to stay on the edge of real estate technology by using KW Technology and make it a great day at Keller Williams. Have a happy Friday. Bye-bye.